Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft and my redstone testing world where I've got a little thing to show you that I've been working on for a little bit. Okay, so first off, if I press this button, no pressure plate I suppose, we get one of these, uh, an unpickupable uh, non-despawning diamond. I mean, we've all, we've all seen these before, I will never pick it up no matter how long I stand here or how long I wait. But if we press this uh, this little button here that changes the, the, the data on it, gives it a scoreboard command, it turns into this beautiful glowing machine here. Now this is just to um, attract people's attention. Uh, I, I've been mainly working on this for the server I play on, um, b, b server, check it out on Facebook or, or anywhere else, we're just everywhere. Um, mainly because I want this to be a, a little server game. Uh, the uh, you can't catch me diamond uh, basically all it does if you walk up to it it will just run away um, it should only really run away one block but I must have been too close then to, to move it on to two um, as you can see it travels up and down terrain so it's not going to get stuck in the corner of something and it's not limited to this space here uh, it's all done relative to the diamond I just wanted to use my, my server simulator to, to, to show you how much it worked but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, I, I think it's going to be something fun, some something that people will chase around the server for probably hours on end, knowing people. Um, yeah, and, and and hopefully the particles will uh, will uh, catch people's attention from quite a way off. So let's go over how I've done it. So uh, in this box, um, we we summon a diamond. Uh, that, that that's easy enough. That's that's all this up to this point. Um, we only want one of them, and then we want to name it something. Well, I started off trying to name it, but that's, that turns out it's not actually important to name it. Um, and these two here, the pickup delay and the age, are the the uh, tags that stop it being picked up. Now, I'm not sure if these um, 32,768 minus 32,768 is entirely necessary, but it's the number I've been told to use by uh, Dracnos. Big shout outs to Dragnoz for, for showing me how to do that. Now over here, this basically gets into the uh, the scoreboards. Um, so that's the scoreboard command to start playing around with, with the scoreboard. This one here selects the diamond, or this selects any item that's on the floor in a radius of 10 blocks. This bit sets the capital D diamond to a uh, score value of 1, the objective capital D diamond. Uh, and this here is we're looking for an item with the uh, ID of diamond. So if I was to say throw this on the floor and do that, it it won't do anything. This this is not becoming a a particle mess. The particles themselves are all done with this uh, fill clock. Well, the particles themselves are done with this tiny one on the end here. Uh, we have an execute command at the diamond with a score of minimum of one uh, on the diamond objective. It will probably be something else on the server. It's just the one I used here. And then we have uh, relative to to the diamond right here, well, right at the diamond, summoning a load of particles. Uh, they don't go out very far, but it goes up uh, and lasts a while. Then we've got these ones. So these determine the orientation that I'm facing. Um, so that, that that's done through uh, an execute command first. Uh, so this checks to see, well, checks around the diamond to see if there is a player that's this at P, uh, within a single block radius, facing between these two degrees. Now, what that is, is if we open up this box here and have a look at this 178, you see that it swings round and goes past, past uh, plus and minus in that direction. And over this way, we've got zero and one. Uh, we've got the zero mark. So this is looking for players looking between 22 and 22. Two, uh, just just over there somewhere. So if I'm stood between, uh, uh, if I'm stood around that diamond, looking in that arc, this comparator will fire. Um, teleporting the diamond two up, so it can climb uh, things like this. I've got a feeling if we if we come up against something that's three deep, let, let's have a look. Uh, it should just spring back at you, or perhaps even carry on. Ah, it goes off in a random direction. That's good. This, that's almost exactly what I want. Uh, the problem will come when it's on the, the corner like this, because we've all seen what happens with items when they're on the edge of stuff. Um, no, it seems to be doing, doing all right. That, that's good. I mean, teleport commands are pretty much universal. That's good. Uh, and then this up here resets the comparator. Uh, 
not the comparator, this command block, sorry, um, it turns its success count off, so the comparator turns off. Else, if we were just kind of walking along looking in the same direction, it wouldn't teleport a second time because it would have done the command once already. Okay, so yeah, th th I think that covers it. We summon in an unpickupable diamond, we give it a scoreboard value, then um, around the diamond every 20th of a second, we check to see which way the player is facing if they're really close, uh, and then we teleport it away from the player, so if we're facing that way, it'll teleport to this block, if we're facing this way, it'll teleport to that block, plus up two blocks, and then we clear the score to start all over again. All right, well, that's about it. If you liked it, do be sure to leave a like. Uh, sub for more things coming up next. We've got, we've got all sorts of things. Uh, also, my Let's Play series is going quite well. Uh, and I will see you next time for some more stuff. Bye!